Hello friends, my name is Rahul Joshi and today we are going to see uh, about TCP congestion control. So first, what is TCP? TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is a protocol which creates and maintains the connection between hosts. TCP used for reliable errorless transmission of data packets. Generally, TCP use sliding window protocol for packet transmission. So now, what is sliding window protocol? It's a protocol which is used for uh, transmitting number of packets at a time. So now, we will see what is congestion. In a, in a real time, congestion means traffic. What will happen if number of vehicles come together on a single road? It will be very difficult for them. So we call it as a traffic. In similarly, in networking term, it's a state of link or a node which carries too much data packet which degrades the performance of network. That is, if number of packets traveling come at a single link or a point which exceeds uh, its capacity, then the uh, congestion will occur. So now, we can look at, uh, at this graph that is, if, uh, if congestion doesn't occur, then uh, the packet delivered gradually increases. But when the congestion occur, it uh, the uh, they decreases simult uh, at the same time uh, at same at a point they get decreased. So we need to control the congestion in order to uh, conserve the speed or the packet delivery uh, in the network. The congestion occurs when the window size exceeds network or rec uh, receiver's capacity. The window size uh, represent a number of packets sent at a time and if it uh, exceeds the capacity of network or a capacity of receiver then the congestion will occur and the packets will be lost. The amount of data to be sent is controlled by congestion window. The congestion window is a window which uh, control which present at the uh, center side and controls the, um, uh, the data packets number of data packets to be sent and at receiver side there is a receiver window which receives the data from the network. The congestion, the congestion window starts from uh, the uh, starts from uh, MSS, that is maximum segment size, and grows up to the uh, receiver window until the congestion or until the congestion occur. If the congestion occur uh, before it reach the receiver window, uh, then we will see what to do. Okay, so uh, now we will move to the TCP congestion control. TCP control uh, TCP controls the congestion by adjusting the window size. If there is more congestion, then it decreases the window size in order to send uh, in order to reduce the uh, packet to be sent, and hence the congestion is controlled uh, or the load on the network is decreased. So TCP used AIMD mechanism to control congestion. So now we will see what is AIMD mechanism. AIMD stands for Additive Increase Multiplicative Decrease. So, uh, the congestion window size in increase uh, additively. That is the increment. Here we have given the formula for the increment equal to MSS. That is uh, maximum segment size. So, it is the uh, maximum segment size is the size of a segment which uh, uh, maximum size of segment which uh, doesn't need to fragment it doesn't need to fragment. So MSS into the current congestion window is the increment and if the new congestion window size is equal to the previous congestion window size and plus increment. The congestion window is decreased multiplicatively as, it, uh, as the name suggests additive increase multiplicative decrease. Okay, So uh, it uh, here the formula is given the congestion window new congestion window size equal to congestion window divided by some constant or we can also reset it to zero in some cases. Now here is the formula is given threshold equal to congestion window size divided by two. The what is threshold? Threshold is a quantity <coughs> threshold is a quantity which is uh, you uh, which represents that uh, the window size our window size is uh, reached up to the half of the uh, maximum size of congestion window. Uh, so uh, we can further uh, we can control the window size or the growth of the window size in order to uh, prevent or uh, 
it is a precaution for a congestion so now we will uh, look at example suppose tcp maximum uh, in suppose for tcp maximum congestion window size is set to be 24 kb that is maximum congestion window size is 24 kb and timeout occurs calculate the window size of seventh transmission and here the mss that is maximum segment size is given as 1 kb <coughs> so here we draw a graph with x axis as a time and on y axis there is a congestion window size so now for a first transmission the congestion window size is 1 that is mss since mss is 1 the congestion window size is 1 so one packet is transmitted then it is uh, increases how uh, we will see how the uh, this graph works so uh, according to the formula increment equal to mss into congestion window size so for after first transmission the congestion window size is 1 and mss is 1 so increment is 1 into 1 that is 1 so the next uh, the now the congestion window size has become the previous congestion window size that is 1 plus increment 1 so 2 here we can see here it is 2 and then now the congestion window size after the second transmission congestion window size is 2 and now uh, the new con we have to calculate new congestion size so it is the increment is MSS that is 1 into congestion window size that is 2 so increment is 2 and the previous congestion window size is 2 so now new congestion window size is 2 plus 2 that is 4 here we can see it next similarly for uh, for next transmission the increment is MSS into previous congestion window size that is 1 into 4 and the new MS MSS becomes 4 plus 4 that is 8 now for the next here we can see slight different it should be 16 we will see it so now for increment uh, the next increment is of 1 into congestion window size 8 that is 8 that 8 plus 8 the new congestion window size should be uh, 16 but now as we saw that threshold which is uh, indicates that uh, we have reached up to the half of the uh, half of the maximum congestion window size it is uh, here the maximum congestion window size is 24 kb and here uh, we calculate uh, the next congestion window size 16 but uh, which exceeds the threshold that is 12 so here we cancel out uh, the, uh, the calculated window size and set it to threshold that is 12 and now we are we're going to take some precaution that it should not uh, the congestion should not occur okay so we will increment uh, by MSS the in uh, window size will not be incremented as uh, we have seen that increment factor but it will be now incremented by the uh, factor MSS so here we can see it is uh, after 12 it is incremented by 13 and now it is 13 14 15 then so on so now we have drawn the graph and we have to calculate the 7 transmission so we'll uh, take a 7 transmission that 1 2 3 4 this is the 7 transmission 14th so at uh, the 7 transmission the current window size is about 14 okay uh, so uh, we have solved this example but I in this example there is no congestion but what uh, what it will the do what TCP congestion control will do if the uh, the congestion occurs now see we will uh, we will take a same example we have drawn the same graph uh, what we have drawn before up to the uh, up to this uh, seven transmission and now we will uh, we will consider that at seven transmission uh, the congestion occurs then now this uh, immediately uh, um, the congestion window size uh, is dec uh, will be decreased it might be decreased as uh, we have seen the formula as uh, sorry uh, we have seen the formula that is uh, congestion window size divided by some factor or C or we can it uh, reset it to zero so we will continue with resetting it to zero so now uh, here as we can see it is the congestion window size is now zero so reset to zero and now again it will uh, re uh, it will be recalculated as before so at the next transmission the congestion uh, will be set to M congestion window sites uh, will be set to MSS that is one and so on what we have seen that two three four and now we here we can see the difference that is here it is eight and here it is seven that's uh, why because uh, when the congestion occur the new threshold value 
is set as half of the previous uh, congestion window size maximum pre uh, previous maximum condition uh, sorry congestion window size here it is a maximum uh, congestion window size is 14 so the new threshold is set uh, to 14 divided by 2 that is 7 so he, uh, here uh, according to our formula increment equal to MSS into a congestion window size the value should be 8 but uh, it exceeds the threshold value so we set to 7 so after the 7 uh, we continue to increment by MSS that is here MSS is 1 so we will see the next transmission as 8 9 and so on so that's it thank you uh, if you like this video please subscribe our channel and you can see others video too thank you very much